Yo, Nick, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Ah. Good morning. Yeah. Let's go. First in and first round. All right, Nick, so we got eight questions about your gym. Then we're going to go check out what's in your fridge. And then we have a lightning round of questions at the end. Come on in, man, to help. It's my gym. I'm going to show you my fridge, get my food on. Probably I'm one of the only cats who work out and eat the entire time. So first up, how long have you had this gym? Mm, hold on, I'm doing. This is a fairly new gym. It's connected to my office building and my music studio. So I never really leave this place. No one else is allowed to use this gym. I'm sure there's a lot of artists and people that work with me that come in here and get it in. But this is all my personal stuff from martial arts, core training, lifting weights, the bare essentials, mirrors, of course. I love mirrors. I work out every single day, sometimes twice a day, depending on what it is. Always making working out fun. Two, what's your morning routine? Uh, I'm part of the 5 a.m. club. Uh, and I don't know if that's morning or night. I don't even really know how to define it. Sometimes it's the end of the, uh, a long day, been in the studio. DJing at the club, whatever. If it's 5 a.m., I get it in. I love music uh, when I work out, specifically gospel music, ironically. Uh, it's just something about that energy that uh, is uplifting. Uh, is that public domain? Either gospel music or R&B slow jam, so I could picture myself next to a nice little lady. I wanna rock with you, baby. Lifting gun in it. <laughs> Three, explain what a fire drill means to you. Ooh, anybody on my team that screams out fire drill, everyone has to drop down and do at least 50 push-ups. But no matter where we are, we can be in the studio, we can be in a board meeting, the mall, if somebody yells fire drill, you gotta drop down and knock out your fire drill push -ups. Four, we've seen you in jeans and Tim's on Instagram. Do you really work out like that? The Tim's and jeans when I was actually trying to be funny with like, you know, the, the New York mentality to just show like, yo, it can happen anywhere. It's like, that's like the street workout. Five, do you have any special equipment in this gym? Uh, I turn anything into workout equipment from the chain, cinder blocks, pulling trucks, uh, sledgehammers, axes, wood, uh, I do my leg workouts by building a wall. Not like Donald Trump, but like, you know, like a wall of power. <laughs> it just gotta be fun and it gotta be challenging. So all our workouts, we just turn into challenges. My kids love to work out. They're all into martial arts, kind of like I was at their age. Kind of introductory because you don't want them to go too hard, but you want to understand endurance and discipline. Six, if you could take one thing on the road with you from this gym, what would it be? It's easy to pack. Best total body workout you ever want to see. Lightweight, you can put this in any bag, but it takes a true G to be able to do this. Seven, mental fitness. How do you keep your mind fit? Mentally fit, all meditation. I don't sleep enough, but that's one thing like if I, I could say is one of my downfalls or flaws when it comes to fitness. You can get the same amount of rest and recuperation for your body just through meditation. So I've been trying to get my chakras aligned. Fitness goals. Uh, fitness goals, honestly, health first. Uh, I'm kind of at the weight that I've always wanted to be, but I fluctuate because my metabolism is so fast. So to just maintain 175, people make fun of my legs. <laughs> Even though they're not that small, they say I look like Mike Tyson up top and Spike Lee on the bottom. I'm Spike Tyson. Last question in the gym. You got a ton of tattoos, which one's your favorite? Ooh, this one right here says fearless. And it's actually written backwards so I can look into the mirror and see it so I can remind myself how fearless I am when I wake up every day. All right, so that's the gym. We're gonna go in here into the studio so y'all can see my fridge. 
Can't tell y'all my secret password. Stop looking. Huh? Welcome to my humble abode, my piano. It's my common space. I'm a refrigerator right next to it. You know how we do. We got the true mask, the creatine, keep me all together. Shall we open up the fridge? You got a lot to drink in there. <laughs> Cause that's how I get down. Being somebody who was diagnosed with lupus in 2012, my body went through so many things, near death, pulmonary embolisms, all that stuff, a bunch. The one thing I can honestly say has got me to where I am today, water. Specifically alkaline water, but any water. Try to do at least two gallons of water a day. To balance all of the water out, you gotta have your protein. I'm a big fan of muscle milk because it's just quick. You know what I mean? 40 grams of protein. Drink a couple of these a day, you can get all your protein in that way. And then when you're working out, you need sugar, you need snack. I don't drink alcohol. So this is the closest thing I can ever have to like a sugar beverage is ginger beer. But you gotta get something that actually has real ginger in it so there's benefits to it. I would say I'm a privileged individual because I have prepared meals. Looks delicious straight out the fridge, but you know what? I'm not the chef, so I'll let the chef explain to you. Slash, I can't even say schlep. He's the schlep slash, he's the chef slash trainer. Yo, Eric. What's up, what's up? Explain to men's health. What's going on here? What, what'd you prepare for me? I try to give Nick a high carb meal. Um, we're bulking right now, but we're trying to make sure we stay as lean as possible. So for today, we have pasta with turkey meatballs. You know, we get it in right after the workouts. He also eats his oatmeal during the workout. So we try to get as many calories in him throughout the whole day. And I'm a huge candy freak, which he hates. We made a, a, a bet and a deal uh, some months ago that I stopped eating all candy for six months. And I did it. Everything's in moderation. You know, I still give him the opportunity to live life, you know, so it's not always eating clean, eating clean. We get, he loves bean and cheese burritos and I have no problem with him eating them though. What's going on with your music? We're really excited about this new project I've been working on for like over a year called Model Music. I got a hot single right now featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Jacquees. That's on Model Music called Nobody Else and really just inspiring everybody to, to have that model behavior, that model personality. Like everybody can feel like a supermodel, everybody can feel and be a role model. And it's just inspiring music, like whether it's when you're in the gym, uh, whether you're going out to the club, it's that model music vibe. So get it now. I gotta go uh, do my workout for real. I let y'all in here, y'all saw my fridge, y'all saw my gym, now you about to see me get it in in the gym. Get to it. Time for quick fire questions. Here we go. All right. All right, man. Let's get it in, man. Ab, ab game. Game time. <laughs> 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? Uh, 7 a.m. workout. Squat or deadlift? Deadlift. Favorite song on your playlist? Favorite song? Incredible game. Nobody else. CrossFit, yay or nay? Yes, CrossFit. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Kettlebells. Run on a treadmill or run outside? Run outside. Cardio or weights? Uh, wait. Speaking of, let me go 20. Big legs, big arms? Ah, uh, big arms. <sighs> What's the biggest compliment? Jack, rib, swole, cut. Jacked. <laughs> ah, we jacked. <sighs> if you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? I want to work out with Jesus, because his six pack is crazy. <laughs> Jesus got abs. Person alive though, I would love to work out with The Rock. We all got this like running joke. Kevin Hart, we hate him. <laughs> because he's just perfect. And he's just a bite size of endurance and power. <laughs> and he can't stop him. Me and Kevin work out together all the time, but I haven't got a chance to work out with The Rock. Kevin has, so The Rock, Let's get it in. So the real workout begins. I need y'all to get up out of here. Y'all in the way now. 